Okay, I know all of you are actually still underage, but then alcohol consumption has a lot of defects on the digestive system as well. Okay, and in particular, excessive alcohol consumption. Okay, so these are some of the effects of alcohol consumption. Okay, it affects your brain, right? So, so it doesn't ju it's not just oh, you know, drink only, right? And then only your gut area or ele elementary canal, but it actually also affects your brain. Right, it affects your brain, which and in, in particular areas that control your behavior, your speech, your personality, your memory, your judgment, your coordination. So a lot of things, right? So there's a, your motor coordination also is affected. So and you also have a slower reflex action. A lot of things that is not just from well the obvious parts like drinking and you know just feeling your your elementary canal having some problems. Okay, so it affects your brain. It also affects your elementary canal, right? Of course, right? If it stimulates acid secretion in the stomach. Okay, so remember, it also uh, stimulates acid secretion in your stomach, so you have more acid in your stomach. I mean, we know that it is important to have acid in your stomach, right? Gastric acid, right? HCl and your enzymes, right? The, the, the acid in your stomach is so that the enzymes can be activated and can do their function, right? Uh, kills bacteria, uh, all, the other, all, all the other stuff that HCl and the acidic environment is supposed to do for your stomach. But if you drink too much alcohol, it stimulates even more acid secretion, okay? And then that is no good, right? We don't want the stomach to be too acidic, right? And, and one of the consequences of that is it can increase the risk of gastric ulcers, okay? So this is one of the effects of alcohol consumption, not just on the brain, right? But also in your elementary canal, your stomach, okay? And furthermore, remember we just discussed how amazing the liver is, what it, can, it can do so many things. And one of the things that it does is detoxification, right? But if too much alcohol, like in like example, right, long-term alcohol abuse, too much alcohol means the liver is going to spend a lot of its time trying to detox, right? Because re remember, alcohol dehydrogenase, the liver has, has this enzyme that breaks down alcohol, right? So if, it has, if the liver has to work over time to basically clear the alcohol that a person is drinking too much, right? So the liver is going to have problems as well even though how amazing it is, there's going to be a limit, right, to, it, to how amazing it can be. Right, so long-term alcohol abuse may lead to cirrhosis of the liver. Basically, your liver is in bad shape, right, whereby the liver cells are destroyed. Okay? So there's also a possibility that your liver can, even though it can regenerate, it can be destroyed. Okay? Remember we say how amazing it is, there's still a limit, right, it can be destroyed and replaced instead with fibrous scar tissue. No longer your liver cells or hepatocytes, okay, new word for you, hepatocytes. Right, hepatocytes, which are your liver cells. Remember, hepatic, hepato, so those are linked to liver, right? So your liver cells or hepatocytes are destroyed and replaced with fibrous scar tissue. So if it is no longer the normal liver cells, the liver therefore is less able to function. That's what it's supposed to do. It has so many important functions, and this can lead to liver failure. 